guys what's up and welcome back to my channel I have something exciting for you so we're gonna be comparing two different types of jelly highlighters so I'm sure most of you guys have seen the Farsali jelly beam it has been around for a little while now we finally got it in to Sephora stores so if you go in you may be able to play and swatch it and see what you think about it but I also found a couple by Alme so there are two shades in that one so I went ahead and picked up both of course there's only one shade in the jelly bean but we're going to compare and contrast the formulas i'm going to give you guys all the details so if you want to see the difference between these jelly highlighters then keep on watching so first we're going to go for the obvious which is the farsali jelly beam this is the outside unit carton it is white very simplistic really cute the shade in this one is called glazed and this one retails for 40 dollars for one highlighter 40 dollars is pretty expensive i'm not going to lie but once I swatched it, I was pretty much sold, but I haven't really applied it to the face. As you can see, I just took it out of the box. It is brand new. It says to apply to the face for an illuminated look. Can be mixed in with foundation or moisturizer. Use over or under makeup. This is the packaging on the Farsali Jelly Bean. Really sleek, I do like that. And this one is 0.5 ounces, so it is relatively small, but if you consider how much you're really gonna be using, it will still last a long time. Just be careful because I know this kinda wants to like pour out almost. So we're gonna be cautious with that. Next, packaging on the Almay is really simplistic. It is a plastic little carton. It's got like a little diamond type of shape on top. The blue one is called Mermaid Magic. That's the outside. And it's called Make Them Jelly. This is also 0.58, so you do get a little bit more with these. These retail for $14.99. And then you've got the pink, which again has the little diamond shape on the lid. Really cute. And this one is called Unicorn Light. When you're considering value, you are paying only $14.99 for these and you do get more product, 0.58 versus your 0.5 in the Farsali for $40, which is significantly more. There's no protection or anything and it does not look like a lot of products. I'm gonna try to show you without spilling it out there. Some also on the lid there so you can see up close without me pouring that out, what it looks like first a little bit on my finger so there is a swatch without blending it too much what the jelly bean really looks like and then blend it out really really pretty I'm gonna close this one for now because this one is very like jiggly and I can see it definitely wanting to tip out and spill everywhere. Now let's open one of the Almay ones. This one is Unicorn Light, which is the pinkish shade. This one does have a nice little plastic lid on it. Something that I actually expected with the Farsali was it to have some type of protection over it, but it was just open in there. There was nothing wrong with it inside. You definitely kept all the product, but still it would be something nice to have on it. So as you can see, this one is more solid looking. Like you can actually like tip that over. This one in the container kind of reminds me of like Jello when it's fully set, when it's completely chilled all the way. That's kind of what it reminds me of. So I'm gonna take on this hand. So I can only hope that this is really doing it justice and it's probably not. Because this one has a lot of really fine glitter or shimmer to it. Whereas the other is more of the Farsali you can see right off the bat is more of that true highlight reflective but even uh, distribution of those pigments that make it look just really shiny all over. What I'm seeing with the Unicorn Light is that you're getting that shine. You can see it there. It is reflective but up close there are little particles that make that up that you can individually see the shimmers or glitters in there but from a distance you can see how pretty that looks it's more opaque in the first ollie for sure let's go on to a mermaid magic looks like this i'm going to show you guys too this one's really interesting the consistency it's almost like a cross between jello and like putty or play-doh okay so they're side by side there i hope you're able to tell i'm gonna try 
So I've got a background light, which I hopefully will kind of give you guys a different look at this. So you've got unicorn light right here, which to me in person is looking kind of, I see pink and gold. And then with the mermaid magic, it's more purple pink. I just wanted you guys to see that without that bright light right on it so you could see the difference. And now the moment of truth, let's try some on. We'll start with the Farsali. I'm taking just a little bit on that same finger. So I've got this unhighlighted side and then you've got the nice beautiful glow and it doesn't seem to have disturbed my makeup at all. It seems to dry really, really quick. So I feel like you need to work with it pretty fast in order to blend it. Now I've got to blend it a little bit better, but that's really, really pretty. I'm going to try the unicorn light on the other side. So this one's definitely coming up more like a really fine glitter than really the super blinding highlight. They're just different looks. I like them both, but it's definitely just not the same look that you're going for. I wanna see how much I can layer this comfortably. It's not too bad over my makeup though. I was afraid it would start really separating and I've got a lot of powder on too. I feel like that's a good representation because you're gonna be doing setting and baking and all that good stuff. So, I wanted to make sure I had some powder on to see how it did because if you put it on bare skin of course it's going to be easier to blend you don't have powders underneath that can break up so there you've got unicorn light and then you've got the jelly beam on the other side I of course want to try a little bit of mermaid magic There's a little bit on the cupid's bow. I actually went ahead and blended it over the center of my lip and it's actually really pretty. It's not anything super crazy. Now as this dries, I like it a little bit more even. It looks very glittery in person. I'm gonna make sure you guys, like if you go pick this up, that's what you would really be expecting because I see a lot of glitter. added mermaid magic down my nose so I've got mermaid magic on cupid's bow and nose I've got unicorn light over here and then of course jelly beam here just for fun I'm gonna tap a little bit of unicorn light over the jelly beam because I'm so curious So I think I've played enough to figure out my thoughts about everything. I will say I don't think one can really take the place of the other because they're such different looks. Yes, they're both highlighters and yes, they're both a jelly consistency, but they're really different. Um, so I'll say about the Farsali is it feels lighter on the skin. Uh, it's a thinner consistency and it is a little easier to blend because it's more of a fluid texture. With the Almay ones, they are really like a jello type of consistency. Jello, but more dense if you can just imagine that. Um, the way that it kind of wants to like break into pieces. So yes, you can blend it out and it still looks really cute. I'm going to get use out of it. But as far as the texture, there's a pretty big difference. The highlight itself, you're going to get more of a reflective, blinding to the gods type of highlight with the Farsali. Whereas with the Alme, you're going to get that like glitter, shimmer, kind of magical glow. Which they're going for the unicorn and the mermaid trend. So it is pretty spot on with that. They are definitely both wearable. The mermaid magic definitely comes off a little bit more purple once it's dried it looks a little bit prettier and you can definitely even highlight the nose with it it's more shimmery but it's there you can see it, it definitely looks a little bit more purple the unicorn light definitely has just a softer pinker kind of look to it it does have a fleck of 
gold so you could pair this with some warmer tones but I would stick within pinks and reds I wouldn't go mixing this with warm browns or anything like that but definitely still a cute look Ulta had these buy one get one half off and they were $14.99 so you could in theory get both for $22.50 which is not a bad deal especially if you do like a glittery shimmery highlight. As for the Farsali it is definitely an expensive item. $40 to me is a lot for a highlight. I do really love the look that it gives though considering that you only need a tiny bit and it can blend it out a lot definitely helps so it is going to last. You're not going to go through this super super quick unless you are really painting it on but yeah it is it is is pretty expensive for a highlight but it is innovative I feel like they did kind of do something a little bit different and I love the consistency of this whereas usually for me cream or liquid highlights are not my favorite I do really really love this I feel like I'm always being super positive but honestly I like them both I feel like for the price this is a good product um, if this was $40 I would say pass but it definitely for $14.99 I think it's good especially since I was able to get one buy one get one half off which they are still on sale as of the day this video goes up I checked and I'll link them below in case you were interested in them but definitely you're getting that like glittery shimmery type of a highlight whereas this you're getting that reflective blinding you know blind the haters type of glow mm -hmm. so yeah they're really different I'd love to say just get one or the other but they're just a different look so depending on what you are going for one of them should definitely be something that you would enjoy just depends on how much you want to spend on it to be honest but that's it guys that's my thoughts on these jelly highlighters I hope you enjoyed seeing this if you have any questions about the products that I didn't quite cover or answer then definitely drop that in the comments below I also have a giveaway going on right now which will be linked in the description box so be sure to check that out and subscribe before you go Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!